Right, we've just loaded uh, NetBeans and this was the previous project that we did when we was demonstrating uh, the live JS. As you can see, we've got that simple code up here, so you can just copy and paste this every, uh, you know, in the, in the start of your uh, project. So you can actually benefit from live JS um, real-time development. And this section here is HTML. So if you're familiar with the HTML, you would recognize these tags. If you don't, don't worry about it. I'll explain HTML in a different video. And this here as the live JS. So what we want to do, we want to start playing around with this script and we want to um, start learning different um, syntax in PHP. Okay, I've deleted the, the function, the echo function from here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate uh, including um, HTML inside an uh, echo function. So we say echo and we put the brackets and we just say basically, let's uh, say um, h1 hello world so the h1 is basically an, an html tag if it's not clear and we just basically close the h1 tag there and if i do that and i click on save we'll see it reflecting there soon here we go it's loaded up in the browser automatically um, so yeah so as you can see here we can do that then the other way we can also tag out so basically after that html we can actually go the other way around so basically I can do h1 like that and then go like this and say echo hello world and also then close the tag like that so that will do exactly the same as above let's see what the effect it does on the uh, here we go it's loaded there now you probably have noticed that I'm always writing PHP that's because my server configuration uh, does not support that shorthand so if I remove that there we could get a problem let's try like that and save that it should basically yeah you see what happened there didn't recognize it so what we need to do is we need to actually put php in front here and put that here php and always write it there you can you can uh, enable the shorthand uh, but we need to basically go into the php ini file and do a configuration there but for the moment we just want to get into the programming uh, in PHP and go through some of the basics 